Hey Taurus, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my September report. Let's see what's going on. This is quite a, a busy month. Like straight off, you know, Venus, your ruling planet, is going to go over three, um, three signs. So right at the start of the week, it's in your area of home and family. So there can be some things going on there. It's also because it's Venus. Let's not forget that Venus is not only the uh, love goddess of the zodiac, but uh, it, it is she is your ruler. Um, so she governs the second house, which is about money and it's also about self-worth. So anything to do with Venus for you can be about relationships, um, money, but also your your mindset. How are you feeling about it? What's your inner talk? Um, and now when we've got it like to start off in the home and family area, this is the time where you could be like renovating or just beautifying or refurnishing. Um, and if you're doing that, you want to like think about, okay, so what are the things that I love? Go through your place. Make sure you resonate with every single thing that is in your home. The home is really important for Taurus. It's where you feel more comfortable. Um, your rule by home, the security of the home is important. Uh, if possible, Taurus likes to own rather than rent, okay? Uh, and if, if that that's something that's on your, uh, you know, list at the moment or your your priorities to do. And then the Venus in this area of your chart does help you do that. Okay, and even if you're not in a position to buy your home, and deep down it is, you know, it is like your dream to do so. You want to start looking at it. Start putting the energy and the vibration out there. Like, what sort of home would you like? Where do you want it to be? Uh, do you want it to be in a neighborhood where you know you can uh, raise children? Um, do you want it to be around schools or do you want it to be in a big city? What does that look like? Like in your mind's eye, when you're coming home and you're coming into your home, where is it? What does it look like? How is it painted? Does it have like a you know, a, um, a yard, has it got flowers or plant, plants or is it a high rise? And so <clears throat> Just sort of put put it out there, put it out there in the universe. This is what I want and and this is what it looks like. And the more that you can get, <clears throat> excuse me, the more that you can get into what it looks like, then the stronger the, the stronger the vibration and the stronger the vibration, the more powerful the manifestation of it becomes. Okay. And you know, go and have a look at it. Go and have a look at homes. That's one of my favorite pastimes, I, I must say. Um, and you know, research. And so you're starting once again to put that sort of energy out there. So you know, so that's that. Of course, with Venus in the in the home and family area you could be just connecting with family as well okay um and then venus we're going to stay with venus for a little while because it is your ruling planet because uh, it's going uh it's going to trans transit through three signs this month so and then uh the next level is the next transit I'm just looking for it here on my chart, but on the 5th, right at the start of the month, it's going to move into your 5th house. This is Virgo, so it's a fellow uh, Earth sign. So in this area, the 5th house, guess what? <clears throat> if you're looking for love, so it's one of the areas, the chart where love affairs can start, okay? The other area is the seventh house. And when we get into uh, October and November, when we have the two eclipses, they're going to be directly in your sign and opposite your sign in your um, love zone. So big things can happen with relationships about you know that time so for right now it's really more focus on you because in this um so we've got venus in that fifth house and then then we get a little later in the month around the 24th i say around depends on why 
uh, where you are in the world. So it can be somewhere the 23rd or the 24th or 29th, it looks like, I'm sorry. Um, I can't read my own writing. Should have been a doctor, right? Um, <clears throat> then when it moves in to the next sign, which is Libra, this is really going to focus the attention on you, your well-being, um, <clears throat> your overall presentation. Some of you might decide to do an image overhaul and just get set and organized in yourself. There's one thing that a Taurus likes and operates best with is when you're organized and when you know what you're doing and you've got like a plan of action to follow. Okay, because you're a very methodical sign, so you like to sort of have the plan of action. So in this area, which is the area of productivity as well, then this is great to do that. There's also a new moon, and the new moon, it's always about, you know, clearing out. The new moon is not until the 24th, 25th. Um, so you've got like leading up to that time to just clear out and clear out can mean anything in your life that no longer serves you. And that can be people, things, situations. And, you know, if we bring that back to the home, it's getting rid of clutter. It's getting rid of stuff that you just don't like, you know, you want to look at everything in your home and resonate with it if it's something that you love if it's something you look at each time and you sort of cringe a little bit get rid of it you know you don't want any vibration around you that doesn't give you happiness or it doesn't serve you in some in some way that being said you might have some sentimental pieces that you know, can make you a little bit sad, but they, they relate to sort of memories and you probably want to keep hold of, of those, right? Now, Mercury is in this area of um, productivity and focusing on yourself and restructuring your life early in the month and it's going to go retrograde. So, yeah, we're heading into another Mercury retrograde. So, um, that's going to happen like relatively early around the 9th and 10th, once again, depending on where you are in the world. And that retrograde transit is going to bring Mercury back into the sign before. And for you, this is your power place. So once again, this is about you getting organized and you focusing on you. Okay, so what is it that you what is it that you want? There's also a sextile between Jupiter and Mars. So it's a very strong sextile it's right at the start of the month. For you, this is about um, money and sorting out where you want your money to come from, how much money that you want, okay? So this month, particularly with the Mercury retrograde, is a month for you to do some thinking, do some organizing, uh, have some time, some solo time where you, you just sit down and do some planning and say, what is it that I really want in, out of my life, you know? Am I living the life that I want? Um, am I living a life that I love? If you're not, then go through each area, area of your life and say, where do I want to make some changes? Because, you know, there's that old saying, if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to get, you're going to attract and have the same thing. So somewhere away the, along the way, if you want to change your life, then you have to change what you're doing. Most people need a little help with that, okay? Uh, including me, I just started a 12-month coaching program with uh John um, Azarath. So, uh, you know, it's good to have some help. And even if that help is, I have like self mastery programs, which are, are great. But even if that help is that every day you go onto YouTube and watch something inspiring from someone inspiring. And as a matter of fact, this month I'm going to be starting off a uh, weekly, uh, weekly wisdom email and you know when I come across people that I like today I just did a webinar on um um yawning <laughs> so <laughs> that was fascinating so uh, you know I'll be including these things in the in that so if you want to just go to jenniferangel.com and join the 
newsletter list, scroll down on the home page and you'll find it there. Uh, and then, you know, you, you'll get that every week. So, um, so this is, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a powerful month. It's a really with the retrograde, it's a month of getting organized. It's a powerful month for you to get organized for yourself, set your own standards, work out what you, what you want. Um, there's opportunities with money that comes from, um, for you once again, sorting out what you want, but it's more than that. It also comes from, um, how you think and feel what are the what are the messages that you're giving yourself what are the words that you're saying to yourself okay if they're less than optimistic and empowering or well, guess what you want to look at that you want to make a you want to make a commitment to change that change it in and even if you do just one thing at a time differently and make that commitment to yourself and because we've got all that energy in your overall in your well-being then perhaps one of those things that you'll be focusing on this um, month is um, your 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 well-being. You know, it might be that you want to get up early and go for a walk every morning. <laughs> That's always one of my challenges that I'm working on. Um, but I do hope you have a, a great um, month and something fabulous comes out of it. Please let me know how you're doing and I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye for now.